Today we're building a computer. I got the parts and it's time to get a stronger computer. And we're starting now. No computer parts were harmed in the throwing of those empty boxes. So this is my computer. I built this way back in 2011. It's time for an upgrade. So we got so what we're doing here, we're going to first, we're going to move everything from the old computer into a new case. So I got this, this new case. We're going to move everything into this, and it is a pretty cool. Are you pointing the camera at the floor? So this is a refurbished Cooler Master case with RGB lights. It's on a crystal. Ooh, um, what slides up? There, okay, and let's just get this open. That way you can actually see it. I've never built anything other than Cooler Master, so I, I don't know if there's something better than it, but this is what we went for, and we got like transparent side that uh, it's not exactly flat it's kind of neat and there's the front so we're going to take we're going to take this and swap its contents into this okay so we're going to be giving this computer to my brother who is filming this hi Todd say hi hi and Todd doesn't know what I'm holding. This is a grounding bracelet. You clip it onto the case or, or something metal, like a, a nearby like metal chair or something. As long as it's metal, you clip it on there and that grounds you. So that way, when you're handling all the components inside, any static electricity, it goes to your case and then into the floor rather than through the wires and and, and um, all the little chips on your computer and essentially frying them. So that way you don't break the stuff that you just pay big money for. So always make sure you get one of these or otherwise hold on to the case at all times when touching stuff. Because, uh, but if you need two hands, you're gonna want one of these. So the new case has these. I'm assuming they're for the RGB fans. But uh, being that this one didn't have that kind of stuff, I don't know where I'm going to plug these into. If I can even plug them in at all, I, I don't even know yet. All right. All right, dude. So you need to put on this bracelet. And uh, go ahead and put the... Move my motherboard into your new case. Which way do I put this? Um, the back. This is the back, which goes to here. And then it slides in to the bay so you won't put it's not quite in yet now you gotta you gotta move it move it toward you toward me yeah and then and then now just line it up with the with the risers there's a there's a hole here and you know where the holes are you screwed in the risers and then here is the hardware for that you're going to want to use a screwdriver <laughs> These little risers here keep the motherboard from touching the metal case 
because all the little wires soldered onto the back will need to not have metal connecting them everywhere. And we'll be back in a moment. All right, so the motherboard is in. Todd, what do you want to put in next? The wireless card, the yeah, graphics card, or the power supply? Let's do the power supply last. Okay, I thought you were going to say next, and I was going to be like, those screws that you just put in the bag were for the power supply. <laughs> okay, so graphics card or wireless card? Just get up and pick one. Okay, so you know, that is a PCI Express, as you can see right here. So we need to take off one of these screws to make room for it. We need to take we need to take off one of these PCI slot screws to make room for it. it uh, lining up with either of these two pieces. All right, go ahead and put that graphics card in. Go ahead and put that graphics card in. This oh, this is the graphics card. <laughs> yep, it just goes right in, just like the other thing. Remember, don't touch the circuit board. <laughs> you're missing, you're missing. to move this no that that's more of a spring thing and it, it's kind of shaped in a way that it'll go in anyway okay okay you are just slightly toward you just like a millimeter yes. no you're crooked you're crooked here do it from this side move over here Don't touch the don't touch the circuit board. <laughs> was. Looked like you might have been. There you go. Uh, those fans are just blowing down at this, and you can't even see them. It's a shame that it points down, and that's the fancy side. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we have built the computer. Just hooking it up to some power and the TV to test that it works as intended. Go ahead, Todd, press the button. Uh oh. Go ahead, turn it on. So we got the computer working. The lights don't quite work, but at, uh, we just had some wires crossed. We had the CPU and PCIe wires from the power supply going into each other instead of where they were labeled to go. Ooh, um, these, the RGB bits of this fan are plugged in. Don't know why they're turning. They're not turning on. We might figure that one out later. So we did figure out why these lights weren't coming on, and it's because the the little plugs, they have arrows on them, and I thought the arrows had to point at each other, but they actually have to not point at each other, so we had them in backwards. So we do have this running, and this is his build now. And he, he has this leftover mouse pad of mine that, that I haven't used in years. Not much to see because, you know, it's an old PC and a new case. Now, finally time for mine. So just going to get these out of the way and then we'll have our parts. In this one, we have the processor, the Ryzen N7. And we got our memory six that light up. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm not throwing these. 
we have, and then in here, we have the motherboard, tough gaming from Asus, and the big baby. Time for some ray tracing. Oh, the box is like silk. Oh, that feels nice. So these both have Aura Sync, ink, and this has Aura Sync, so, as well as IQ. Uh, just like this has IQ. Is, the, am, is this in focus? Okay. Was it not? It, it was, you can see it. Okay. <clears throat> so, so the only thing that doesn't light up is this. And, uh, and well, obviously the this, but actually this does light up because it's got a light up fan. So everything lights up. I just gotta, uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna take this fan off the side of here so that way you can see the lights easier. Um, uh, but um, I'm gonna get these opened up and then we'll start putting them in. All right, so here's our motherboard. <clears throat> What's this? Oh, that's the antenna for the wireless. And then here is the, here's the uh, board itself. Let's see, this should be... Uh-oh. I might have to check for, for more risers. For the uh, for me to get it up into my case, is or move the risers around. So that's going to take me a few minutes. So we had a bit of an issue where I didn't have enough risers or screws to mount the motherboard, and I had to go get some. In that time, my cameraman has gone home, so I'm going to try to do a little bit of the filming of this. But that means I'm one-handed. Oh, that new motherboard smell. My camera is pointed at the floor, on the floor. Let me get this in there. Or hold it a certain way. There we go. Oh, this is my motherboard. Tough gaming. Let's set it in here, right? We've just got to bring it out through this. There we go. It's all lined up. And we can start putting some of the screws in. Well, okay, it's almost all lined up. I feel like that last one was, was possibly... A little different. It, it felt different to get that last one in there. But, oh, we got all this in, and you know what? I forgot to hook in these pins on the side here. Right here, these pins get some of these wires. I have to look in the instructions to see which ones go where. Okay. My phone is being balanced precariously on the edge here. And here is the diagram. So, first wire we got here is the power switch. So that one is going to be Power button and ground. Which one is ground though? This little white white must be ground. Okay, so, so not the first two, but the second two. So it should be that. Next, we have 
the power LED. That is right above the power button. The minus button is, f is closer. And then the positive. Awesome. Okay, let's see the blue one. The blue one is reset switch. Sorry, I know that's upside down for you. Maybe I'll flip it in post and, and you'll be wondering why I'm saying it's upside down. Or, but then the instructions will be upside down. I'm not going to flip it. Okay, so reset. Reset is directly across from in there and with ground on the opposite side. I hope I got, I hope white is ground. I really do. I, I don't have my cases instructions anymore. We've got one more. It is the hard, the hard disk drive LED to show that the drive is working on writing, and reading and writing or whatever. And it shows a positive and negative instead of a ground and not ground. So I don't know what one the positive is. I'm going to say the red one is prob. We got one more. It is the hard the hard disk drive LED to show that the drive is working on writing and reading and writing or whatever. And it shows a positive and negative instead of a ground and not ground. So All right, next I want to get this open and put in. So let's do that. We got a, a little spot on top here that I need to get my knife. Okay, got that open. And here's the big reveal. First we got the RGB fan. Whoa, that is not just the fan, but it's also... <sighs> I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Okay, so this is going to be the RGB light. And then in here, we still have the processor sticking out that window. So, I'm going to put the RGB light aside. And we got to get this processor out of here. Oh, it just falls away from the window. Okay, that works. I really probably should not be doing this one-handed. So I'm going to put this down. We've got these beautiful pins. And we carefully jostle it. Okay, there's the triangle. Oh, wait, i got to put it back down. i got to lift up the bar. There we go. That this is a kind of like a lock lever. Okay, so uh, I can't tell what way it goes. Oh, there it is, right there. Ooh, I just hit it off the fan. Okay, okay, there's a little arrow right there. And luckily, I did not bend any of the pins by hitting it off the fan. I'm now trying to focus on moving it through my hand without dropping it while also recording. There we go. Ooh, that was tough. Oh, look at that beauty.
that one, that went down pretty easy. And this does not come back up. Okay, good. We'll see this back up. I don't know if I'm putting the sticker on it or not. Maybe. All right, here is our fan. And uh, maybe I shouldn't hold it one-handed over this. But um, it's got heat pipes. I did not realize it had heat pipes. I almost bought a fan extra that had heat pipes. I'm glad I didn't because this one already has the heat pipes. Does it have the thermal compound though? That's the question. Yes, it already has a layer of thermal compound. Yeah, it smells like chemicals. Okay. This is something that I need to sit down and actually read the instructions. I can't just throw it on there. So I got it connected. This latches onto a little piece of plastic down here. And then there's another one on the other side that was giving me trouble getting it latched. That's down in there. And then afterwards, I had to flip this lever over to secure it. This is not something I was able to film while doing it. I wasn't going to attempt it either. Okay, uh, next I guess I can put in the RAM sticks, then the graphics card, and then I'll just plug in everything else off camera. So we're going to, I'm getting these out one-handed. Let's use my feet a bit. Yeah, that'll work. And there we are. There's our light up graphics, not graphics cards. Did I say graphics card more than once here? I meant to say RAM. Our RAM sticks. So give me a second and I'm going to get these open. How do I get them out? Other than dumping them, how do I get them out? There we go. No, no, come on, come on. Yeah. This is my first time having DDR4 memory. Vengeance RGB Pro. Okay, so there's the thing. And so they go. <gasps> so they go this way. I'm going to put them in the, in the lighter gray. Okay, I guess those ones don't pull back. Oh, yeah, those aren't mechanical. They don't pull back. Go, that's one. There we go. And here's the other. Just gotta not miss while also keeping the camera pointed at the right place. Oh, okay. I think that's in. Yes, that's in. I The pictures made these look squishy, but they are hard. They are very tough. Not a pun. I did not mean for that to be a pun. Okay? That was not supposed to be a pun. Okay? Okay? It's not a pun. Alright, so I've got the minimum of stuff in here. I've got only my boot drive I've right here hooked in. And I don't, don't have the graphics card in yet. And I've plugged in this cord, which goes into what is labeled as RGB. The instructions are not 
detailed enough, I don't think, about like RGB through motherboard or RGB through software. And well, actually, I wish it said RGB through software because that would make sense. I don't, I forgot what it says, but it confuses me. I've never done RGB. So we're going to power it on and hope for the best. Let me try hitting this switch back here. Oh, let me try plugging it in. Lol. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that's definitely on. Let's let's go ahead and. Oh, pretty. Okay, it definitely put the RGB in the right way. There wasn't any instruction on that for me to be sure of. Um, okay, so this is on, but nothing's going to the TV. And that is not RGB, it's just red. It's just R. It's just R. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on. I do know that this looks a little dusty still. I've been wiping the case out like crazy, but I uh, guess I didn't wipe it out good enough, and it shows. The, the, the light really shows. Okay, um, something's up. I'm going to go get the extra monitor. Oh, wait. I gave it to my brother. Okay, I'm going to go get something. Okay, so I was going to wait until tomorrow when I had my cameraman back to put this in. But seems that the uh, HDMIs on the motherboards don't mean that there's any integrated way of displaying any sort of display. So let me see if I can get my knife open without cutting my feet. <laughs> and come on. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have to use two hands for this. By the way, I found my hardware. I went to the store because I didn't have any screws. They were all in there. But you know what? It was worth it anyway because I didn't have enough standoffs. Okay, so this was what was inside there, which I accidentally ripped. Whoops. Oh. Okay, and... Oh, premium. You know, you know something's like luxurious if if it's black and gold. The Steelers are luxury. I am not a football fan. I just grew up near them. Hmm, okay. Well, I have a CD drive. But I don't have enough SATA cables for it, and I don't think it opens. I think that's why I disconnected it, is because it didn't open. Okay, so fancy cut on the graphics card. Uh, we we got we just got a bunch of different languages. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put this aside. That side. And here we are. Whoa. We got 
something here. I don't quite know what this is. It's cloth. I really don't know what this could be. That's going to be something to check the instructions for. This is a beefy, beefy card. Oh man, I have the perfect case for this. If I would have went down in size of a case, well, maybe if that wasn't there, or on whatever I went down in size on, but this just fits. Look at that. Look at that. Both sides. It touches both sides with its, its um, bag. All right, I'm going to get this in there. So for reference, here's my graphics card next to the Super Nintendo. Nah, just kidding. This is a mini Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh, but look at how big and hefty this is. And on the back, there's like no circuitry. It, e it actually says remove, peel this off first before... Remove protective film before use. So we're going to do that before we even put it in. That's some good stuff. Oh, my finger got in the lens. Oh, sorry. Oh, boy. This is, this is heavy. This is, like, really heavy. Oh, let's, oh, I gotta open that. Now, do I want to put it here? cover the lights or do I want to put it here oh yeah that's better okay okay I am putting it on the higher spot up here uh, those two I'm gonna do right in this spot okay I got it it seems to be in And we can close these. Oh my gosh. Does it not fit? Oh my gosh. It doesn't fit in my case. It actually does not fit in my case. Well, okay. It doesn't fit in my tool free thing. Uh, I'm going to actually have to put some screws in here. Oh boy. Look at that. That is huge. All right. It's in there. I had, as you can see, I had to screw it in and we're just going to have these sticking out. These two, these can never go in all the way because graphics card is too big <laughs> funny thing is this one doesn't even come out all the way this one does but the, this one doesn't want to come out all the way and this one looks fine and funny a um one of these other ones doesn't come out all the way i think it's the other pci a slot um so yeah we're gonna be able to see the rgb there the the part coming off the behemoth and uh, the RAM, the heat sink, and then we're going to have the red fan, which I've always had and never been a big fan of. That was a last second pun. 
last second pun. And uh, I guess I gotta I got get this plugged back in. Oh boy, it's just. Let's see, can we get it around here? Bring it around town. Then you do this. Then that. Then that. Then that. Then that. Then that. I know that's not quite the right way to say that joke, but yeah. Okay. And that goes in here. That's the only wire that I can't really do much about. This one worked pretty well. It just kind of curved in to where it goes. Oh, well, I think it's time to... Oh, wait. I gotta put the... Okay, so I'm gonna throw the power cords into here, and then I'm going to try turning it on again. Okay, so this is it. Without even being on. We got that light. We got these lights. For some reason... Wonder what they mean, if anything, and powering it on. And nothing. Oh, look at that, though. Oh, oh, oh. Is it posting? Yeah! Yeah, we got, we got it going. We got it going. Now, oh, there's my BIOS. <laughs> okay, now, um, I didn't plug in on my hard drives. In fact, I only plugged in two of the SATA cords. The other two are underneath. They are to go underneath here. Look, look. I wonder if I can even point the camera at it. Like, okay, yeah, I can point the camera at it. But I can't get it in there. I'm going to have to take out the graphics card in order to plug in my third hard drive. So I've worked on this all day yesterday. I still can't get it to run. I've tried everything I can find online on it not finding the drives and what I think might be happening is when I was in in the I'm really out of breath for some reason probably the way that I'm on my knees when I was picking my motherboard I was running into an issue where every one that I was picking was going to require an update to its firmware inside it this would mean that I would have to plug in an older processor to it, update it, and then plug in the processor I actually bought. But I didn't want to get two processors, so I just looked for one that didn't need me to do that. But maybe I made a mistake. Maybe maybe that's the case here. So I'm going to take it over to a repair shop and see if they can figure out what's going on with it. At the repair shop, they did the same things that they suggested I did over the phone, which I did do, but... It didn't work when I did it. When they did it, it worked. It only cost me the $50 to expedite it, no extra. So I've got some really bad news. My hard drive, I think this is my biggest hard drive, 300, or 3 terabytes, it's 300 gigabytes. The SATA connector, right here, right here has broken it appears to have been it appears to have broken when i was taking the computer apart initially because it's right here in this sata drive cord that i had not been using at all while troubleshooting this is the only one i didn't touch when i was using to troubleshoot and i don't remember which I think this is the one that had all my Steam games installed, 
So I'm going to be in a bit of a crunch for saving this or something, seeing what happens. I, I'm i thinking maybe I could put it into this thing here and save it that way. But uh, this is upsetting. All right, everyone. So that's the computer built. And with that, I can finally run shaders and I can be ready for RTX. Now, these shaders are SUS shaders. They use ray tracing. I don't know if they use the graphics cards built in ray tracing or not, but it says that you don't need this graphics card in order to get it this shader to run. It just might be a little more taxing. But, um,. Yeah, this is looking absolutely gorgeous, and I've got render distance up all the way. A, um, without the shaders, I can even run a amplified world pretty darn well. Oh, and there's a shattered savanna. I didn't even notice it until just now. I've been loading this world up over and over I'm trying to record this. So like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft. And I'm about to start a show about Hermitcraft. If, um, we just got the set done, and we just got to put together the format and get something recorded. So I'll see you when I upload that. Crater.